Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be opening up here two of the Innistrad Crimson Val pre-release kits. Uh, definitely really fantastic. This is something that is obviously much older now. We have like several sets that have uh, came out afterwards. So we have uh, Kamigawa and we also have uh, the Streets of New Kapena. Uh, we even have like Baldur's Gate, all of these other sets have pretty much just followed up after it as well but Crimson Vow is the one that I am definitely most keen on because it focuses on the vampires and that's just something that I personally uh, am really into you know with magic at least I want to build a vampire deck and with that yeah just uh, really fantastic coupled with the fact that the artwork for magic is just on another level to be honest um, just really amazing. I mean, they focus more so on realistic artwork, so because of that, uh, the vampires just look really amazing, and uh, yeah, it's just something I've always had a fascination with, so with that being said, uh, having two of these to open up is definitely really fun. I also would like to emphasize the fact that the pre-release for any magic product is actually the most valuable thing you could actually get you just get so many good things out of a pre-release um so i'm really glad that i can open up two right now um and i'm hoping to just buy a few more of these you know because to be honest um as opposed to buying singular packs or as opposed to buying a booster box uh, you just get so much more in this it's almost as if each pre-release you open you could guarantee to get something good uh, of course that's just perhaps my luck uh, when it comes to opening pre-release but uh, let's just find out what we actually have here I mean there's really not much else let's just get this uh, plastic out of the way and uh, find out what we have inside each of these here and oh it looks like it opens up in this interesting form very nice looks like the boxes actually could be kept itself um, to be used for something else so I'm gonna try my best not to damage these boxes because they could actually be used uh, potentially for storage but we'll find out either way all right fantastic so now we have them both out there we can easily just slip it out like so yeah it looks really nice I mean this box will open up like a regular box and I need to keep stuff um, so that's really cool, but I'll take out this one as well. I'm going to see, so inside we have a dice, 20 sided dice, is it a spin down? Yes, it does look like a spin down dice, um, but that's okay, it's more so just to count your life. Never actually owned a 20 sided die before, so very interesting, I also I always just have like normal dice. Um, so yeah, to have this, absolutely fantastic. Yeah, that's great. So that's already like a really nice bonus you get there as well. Kind of like setting your players up. Oh, we have our promos for the first one. Vampire, welcoming vampire. Very nice. 2021, I love it. Really nice. Yeah, let's see if it's the same thing. Um, so it is different. Yeah, all right. It is different. So this one is Averbrock Caretaker. Very nice, uh, both promos. Don't know too much about it, but let's just see what else is in this as well. So we have over here uh, all of these. So it looks like a uh, nice separator for the box. Uh, we have this here, which is Magic Arena, I believe. Um, yep, so there we go. We can actually unlock uh, six different codes as well for um, Crimson Vow in the actual arena itself, so if you play that, that's going to be great. Uh, but yeah, over here, look at this. This nice... Um, honestly, I don't know what this is. This is fantastic, though. I see, so it's more like uh, building a deck, teaching you more about like pre-release. So that's not too bad. But we're going to set those aside for now as well. Let's see if it differs in the other one. Uh, it does look like the same thing, so that's fantastic there. 
Um, but with that being said, let's see how many packs we get. I don't even know how many packs we get in this, to be honest. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six packs. Wow, six packs. That's not bad at all. Um, I paid $34 for this pre-release, so six packs is extremely cheap. I mean, a booster pack is normally like $9 or something here. So you would expect this to be more around $54 or, you know. So as I see, it's only $34 for this entire thing. It's definitely really good. Um, but aside from that, it's just an empty box. So you could really just uh, use it as storage, you know. Um, yeah, I'm going to put away this away, the boxes. And we're going to take out the packs on this side as well. Uh, so we have another six packs here. So 12 packs. Wow, that is uh, brilliant. Honestly, I uh, can't wait to actually open up all of these. So yeah, this is going to be really fun All right, so let's see here. We have two yeah, and we have this the promos I think I'll let's just open up the promos first and see what we actually have inside Because it does look like there's more than one card Let's get this out Let's find out what we have here so obviously we already have our Everbrock Caretaker. We have here... Oh, interesting. I don't know what this is, actually. Looks like uh, just a bunch of token cards here. So nothing actually significant. Alright, I was expecting other cards, but I guess not. So I assume it's going to be the same to this as well. Maybe there's some alternate artwork here. Let's find out. Yeah, kind of. Um, just slightly different borders here, but that's pretty much it. It's the same thing anyway. Uh, but yeah, really nice promos. Put those aside. And uh, yeah, let's just see what we actually get in these packs, you know. I mean, this is just something that I think is great. So we could do like a small competition just to see which side performs a lot better. So let's start with this side first. Uh, it's from Draft Boosters, but that's, that's okay. It's not too big a deal. It would have been nice to get collector boosters. Um, but even so, let's just find out what we have here. So, first pack. You see we have some vampires, really nice. But uh, let's find out what we have here that is significant. Uh, you guys will have to let me know. I do know that these are like basic commons, and that's like uncommons. Um, let's find out. It looks like a rare, yeah, Voldaren Estate. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, loving this artwork. I love the black and white. It's just beautiful. You know, we have blood tokens. Really crucial for the vampire deck, but uh, yeah, we start off with Voldaren Estate. Uh, not too sure whether or not this is good, but you guys can let me know about that. Let's open from the other side now and find out what we have here. Let's see. Alrighty, so out of all this here, what do we have? Let's find out. We, oh, that looks really amazing. I mean, I'm always just fascinated by the artwork here. Um, we have over here, Curse of Hospitality. Very nice. And an island. That is, again, just absolutely stunning artwork. Uh, especially in the black and white. So far, I think both are pretty even. So let's go with the first side again, see what we get. Alrighty, in this one we have... Another one, another rare here. Glorious Sunrise, and a forest this time. Again, just stunning, you know, stunning art. But uh, it doesn't look like anything's uh, particularly special at the moment, so let's just continue on and find out what else we can get here. And frankly, I don't know too much about these, so you guys will definitely have to let me in on it. Uh, we have here... Ooh! Sundown Pass. Interesting. Sundown Pass here, so this is a full art card. I don't know if this is valuable, but if it is, you know, let me know. It's definitely very interesting. And we have planes. Beautiful. Uh, but so far, wow, this, this looks wonderful. I love it. Alright, back to this one again. 
uh, definitely really impressive to see all of this. Uh, cards I'm probably trying to look for, maybe a Sorin Markov, that would be uh, really great here. But aside from that, I don't really know too much else about the actual set itself. So let's see what we have. Uh, we have here Falcon Wrath Forebear, very nice. And a Swamp, wow, absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, so far I really can't say, you guys definitely have to let me in on this, but I do know that if we get like a red one here, which would be a mythic, that would be fantastic, but at least for the time being, we don't, so with the regular rares here, uh, you guys will have to let me know on this, so a bit of a spoiler, looks like we have a hollow here, oh nice, so we have here uh, Thalia, Guardian of Thraban, which is our gold. We have a Forest, and we have Mulch, which... Um, very interesting pack here. I don't know how to really say about this. I mean, it doesn't look like it's a valuable card, but... With it being black here, but... It is a foil. So, I don't know. It's a foil common, I assume. Um, but that's definitely really nice. So, yeah, let's let's move on move on. Seems like the second side is definitely doing a lot better at this particular case, but you guys will uh, tell me that. Let's see here, I'm trying to open it up. Alrighty, let's see what we have in this one here. We have over here... Oh, there we are, a mythic, right? So this is what we want. So we have that swamp. So this here is uh, Chandra, Dressed to Kill. A beautiful card. I love how the artwork kind of extends past the borders, but not all the way through the borders. Um, but yeah, this is a fantastic card. And um, yeah, it's just great. I love it. Absolutely fantastic. All right, that's, that's nice, our first mythic. So let's move on to this side and uh, hope it keeps up that way. But yeah, I, I don't think like even the mythics are worth too much. Like I think Chandra, I have seen it before on like websites. It should be like about eight bucks, but let's see what else we have here. Overcharged Amalgam, fantastic. Not too bad itself. see back to this side again what do we have over here oh another mythic savior of Olenbok. so yeah i think mythics obviously like something that should be considered valuable to some degree um but yeah definitely let me know guys what you think let's find out what we have over here See a bit of spoilers here. We have a gold sundown pass, but not the full art version. We have fearful villager, another foil card. Can't complain about that. Let's continue. Let's see what we have here. Alrighty. Let's see what else we have here. Concealing Curtains, nice. And a Foil Blood Hypnotist. You guys will have to tell me about these foils, why they're actually done this way. But for now, it's just all more exciting to find out, you know. Uh, but yeah, let's see what the final pack has to offer. We've Consuming Tide. And, oh, Chandra, Dress to Kill. Looks very interesting here, definitely different. Uh, but yeah, overall, what do you guys think? We got like a few good stuff here, but we also got some mythics over here as well. Two mythics in this one. So yeah, let me know what you guys actually think about that because I honestly don't know anything right now. Um, is it always the case that mythics are more valuable than all the other cards? Um, I don't know. You tell me. But with that being said, I do hope you guys actually enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to buying more Crimson Vow pre-releases. 
so yeah stay tuned for that but in the meantime uh thanks for joining me today and hope you guys have a great day i'll see you all next time